Okay, uh, hello, welcome back. This is the uh, IEBC interview series here at the General Meeting 2016 in Frankfurt. My name is Coach Lüttelburg from the DKE in Frankfurt as well. And uh, today I will talk about the IEC affiliate program. And for this I got uh, two experts. It's uh, Rosario uh, Uria, you are the IEC affiliate leader of the program. And Francoise Rauser, you are the IEC affiliate executive secretary. So um, please, could you please give us a brief overview what is the IEC affiliate program about? Okay, it could take a long time to go into detail, but to be brief, it's a, it's a program the IEC launched in 2001 to address the need of developing countries. And we have 85 countries in that program. Basically, it's to help them adopt international standards as national ones, to use international standards to be, you know, in the framework of the WTO, and little by little to get them to participate in the work of the IEC. So what are the criteria to get into the program? A country is invited by the General Secretary and it has to be a developing country. It means that uh, its infrastructure is the country is not ready yet to be a member of the IEC. Generally, these countries do not have national committees, which is a prerequisite to be a member of the IEC. And the purpose of the program, and uh, Rosario is helping me in that because she represents the countries, we're trying to help them to establish the national committee so that they get the tools to benefit fully from the program. Mm -hmm. So that means the, the normal way, if I can say so, is that the IEC is asking the countries to become a member or it's vice versa? We have, uh, we have invited the countries yes. when we launched the program. We've sent invitation to all developing countries. Some said yes, some didn't answer, so we've invited again. Now we are at the stage that almost all the developing countries are in the program. And, um, well, it's praised around if they ask some countries recently, Syria and Uzbekistan have joined the program on their request. Mm -hmm. So they just send a letter and we, we let oh, them yeah. in. Basically, there's yeah. no, there is no criteria to be refused, mm -hmm. except if you, mm -hmm. if the United States wanted to be in the program, obviously, yes. we wouldn't have sex. Yes, <laughs> you can yes. understand okay. that. I can <laughs> understand that, yes. So what are the main benefits for the participating countries? Uh, well, uh, maybe ask Rosario what the main benefit. Please. She's a developing country. Yeah. Yeah. The program has many benefits. We are working to, the, to, to, to try to the developing countries use the benefits. The first is the opportunity to adopt a standard with, uh, without cost. There are free standards to adopt. The countries uh, could adopt uh, 200 standards in a first stage. If the, if the country adopts 50 standards, they became affiliate plus. When the country became Affiliate Plus, uh, have the opportunity to receive a mentor support for a developed country. Mm -hmm. And this is very important. Uh, the another benefit is to participate in 10 TCs, technical uh, committees, and to have the opportunity to make comments in, in some uh, TCs that if the country decide to work very actively in, in mm -hmm. one or two committees. Yeah. So 85 countries are right now in, into in the, the program. program, yes. So how do you measure the, the success or the, the... Well, I would say that the success is measured by the number of adoptions, okay. which is growing every year. We have mm -hmm. more and more countries adopting. And also, which is a new criteria, is to... When we started with the program, they didn't have a national committee, which means they didn't have around the table the stakeholders which are in the electrotechnical field. Mm -hmm. Now we have, I think, 51 countries, including mm -hmm. Peru, okay. who have such a structure. So okay, this is this yeah. sort of measurements when we see that they are slowly but surely getting on board with the mm -hmm. IC yeah. environment. Okay, yes. See. And would you say that there is still improvement possibility for the program? I mean, what? There's always improvement. There's yes, always improvement. Sure. For me, it's a very successful program, mm -hmm. but uh, we are lacking our objective in, uh, in one part, which is to involve them to contribute to the development of standards. There are different reasons for that, you know, lack of expertise, a, a lot of things. Okay. But I think I'm really counting, and I'm going to use your stage there to, to, to send a, a call. Uh, yeah, I'm really counting on developed countries, members of the IEC, mm -hmm. to support the program by provi providing mentoring, technical and, and mentoring. Yeah. And the program is continue improving because now we create a new, a new benefit that is a status ACAS. Yes, it's, it's recently, and we try to support the the countries into use all the benefits of IEC. Mm -hmm. okay. 
including the conformity mm -hmm. assessment yeah. side, yes. which is very crucial for developing mm -hmm. countries. So given this and given your ex experiences you already gained with that program, what are the next steps you have planned for that program? Are there any next steps or so? Well, then the, the, the next ultimate stake yeah. is that all countries have a national committee, okay. of course. This is not the aim that they become members. If they become members of the IC, it is good, of mm -hmm. course, but there is no pressure on these countries because some will very soon. We've got about 10 countries ready for membership. We've already got 10 who have become members, but we have a lot of countries who are, will take a long time so they can stay in the program. But I think for me, uh, really now, is that we have to improve the technical participation through technical mentoring. Mm -hmm. And that's the way we're going to go in the next couple of years. It is to okay. know, is, is, is to work for the people and the countries know the benefit and use the program. Is that the principal objective? Okay, so thank you very much. Thanks a lot. Thank okay, you. For that overview about the program. Okay, thanks and it's you. IEC General Meeting 2016. Connecting communities. Reinvent standardization.